Yo, what up fam? It's Phantom. In today's video, we're going to go over how to download and install Destiny Rising, which is normally a mobile game for PC. It's got actually official PC support. I'm playing it on PC right now. This is PC footage. I'm playing it actively. You can hear me jumping around with my keyboard. And then you can see right here, I'm moving around with my mouse. It runs super, super well on PC and it looks really, really solid. And I think it's the best way to play it, obviously, but I'm not a big mobile guy, gaming guy, but this is a really cool game that I'm excited to play on PC and I can show you how to install it. I'll show you how to install it and then hopefully it'll work for you. But there's a big thing that you might have to do to go into the BIOS. It sounds scary. It's not. I can show you how to enable the feature you need to enable and it'll be super easy. Let's jump into that now. So the first link in the description is going to be for the PlayDestinyRising.com website. This is the website that you're going to be downloading it from. From the web page, we're going to choose the Play on PC button. This will then automatically install a installer. This is the Moomoo Moo Player. That's what you're going to be using to play it. It's basically an emulator that you emulate Android onto, and then you play the game through the emulator. We're then gonna open up that installer. It'll say installing, and then you'll click install now where this Destiny Rising button is. I'm not going to do it because I already have it installed, but you would normally just have to do that. Now, best case scenario, when you launch Moomoo Moo Player, it'll automatically start the game and you'll be playing Destiny Rising. It's the official way to play. It's the best way to play. It's super easy to do. So one potential issue you're going to run into when you actually try to run the game is it's gonna say you need to enable VT and it says something about BIOS. And that sounds very scary. And it was scary for me too, but I figured it out. It's super, super simple. I'll have a link to this written guide here. It's very easy to follow. So it's going to tell you why you enable VT. All it is is just unlocking your CPU to give more power to the emulator. It's not going to hurt your computer anyway. There's no issues there. All you have to do is enable the VT. And there's different ways to do that depending on what motherboard you're running. So you first have to figure out what motherboard model you have. And then you can go to the corresponding guide that shows you how to enable it. I'm going to use MSI as my tutorial because that's the PC that I used, but you can use anything. And typically when you actually open the game and it says something about a tutorial and how to do it, just click the link that it gives you and it'll automatically read what your motherboard is and can then give you the correct guide to go to. But MSI is a pretty common uh, motherboard that people run. That's what I run and that's what a lot of others run. All you have to do is you're going to shut off your computer. So I suggest actually watching this video on your phone. It's a little easier to follow you're going to shut off your computer and then when you start the computer you're going to have to do different things to open the bios for msi it's holding the delete key or pressing the delete key when the computer turns on it's usually some sort of key typically the delete key to open up your bios and then when you get into the bios you're going to be looking for a certain thing there's either the svm mode which you're going to enable or you can look for the virtu technology or virtual technology and you're going to enable that it's going to be one of those those two settings and regardless of the BIOS that you're running. All you have to do is enable that and save it. And then you're going to start the emulator again. You're going to start your computer, start the emulator, and you'll be able to run Destiny Rising. It's super easy, super nice. I know I didn't really show you because I can't really do it while I'm recording my PC, but uh, it's super simple. I promise it's a lot easier than it sounds. Just make sure to go to that link if you're having any troubles to find your, uh, to find your motherboard and make sure just to follow your motherboard's guide. But MSI is pretty common. Hopefully that's what you have. If not, definitely let us know in the comments what you're having problems with and somebody else might have your answer. But I'm going to get back to Destiny Rising. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video and we'll catch you in the next one.